Hey guys! All right, we're back again this week. I told you. Um, so last time we talked about sprucing up your fall and winter wardrobe, and my solution to that was adding pops of color, whether it be through shoes or through a clutch handbag or whatever the case may be, or my favorite, through a crop jacket. If you didn't see that segment, you might want to go check it out. Today I, I want to show you a few key pieces that you can incorporate into your own personal wardrobe. Now this stuff can be as super high end as you want to the lowest price point that you can think of. All the way from like Target, Target um, to H&M's and Zara's all the way up to all the high end department stores. There's a price point for everybody for this particular trend season. I mean usually it is but sometimes the stuff is just not as great as you get into the, the lower price points. Um, but this season I'm very excited that there's just a, a like a whole like heap of stuff out there for everybody and that makes me very happy since I mentioned leather let's start with that first because oh I get so excited when I see all this leather out I really wasn't like a huge fan of leather at one time but that's just because the leather pieces weren't that appealing to me but lately I mean these designers have been bringing their a game when it comes to leather and I'm loving every bit of it now let's talk about leather see when I was growing up if you were caught wearing pleather you were such a loser <laughs> right I remember I had this one leather jacket and it was like the only one that I had the rest of my stuff was like pleather um but I wore the mess out of that leather jacket but now Having faux leather and pleather is very cool, you know, um, because it's very animal and earth friendly. So anyway, it's cool to have pleather if it's not real leather. You don't have to go spend a thousand dollars on a pair of leather riding pants. And yes, they do exist in stores that you probably wouldn't think, but they are out there. So go get you some nice pleather ones and you can get the same effect and keep it moving. This was the INC uh, peplum top. It's a pleather top from Macy's that I found. And I think it was like $79 or something like that. A little pricey, but you know what? It's one of those pieces that definitely um, adds value to your wardrobe in terms of, you know, giving you some edge, but just really clean lines and it looks more expensive than what it really is. These were the other leather tights I think that I've mentioned that I had I've had these forever now these are two different blues but you know what I'm crazy enough because they're close enough that they could come off as monochromatic um, I'm crazy enough to put these together and just do the whole thing and then do like a hot pink shoe and maybe a hot pink clutch or something like that or you know mix it up you can do that or you can do these separates you don't have to do the matchy matchy um, this is a very sleek and sexy idea another piece that you really need to incorporate into your wardrobe if you don't already have it many of you do but if you don't have one that would be the motorcycle jacket i'm loving these motorcycle jackets and see even this one has like some leather detail on it it's probably pleather but whatever it's got the leather ish detail to it this is by rachel roy it's a little bit pricey but I've seen this style in like literally every price point, I promise you. Um, but these are like a must have. You kind of can't function without them. You can, but trend wise, you have to have a good motorcycle jacket. This BCBG jacket that just came out, huh, I died. It died, I died, I died. I died. This looks like a leather jacket, but it's actually not. I mean, it really even feels like leather. They really, really, really really did this what I love about this particular jacket is the texture on it but you can mix and match this with other textured patterns and still have a very very chic look these are riding pants from again BCBG um, they are not leather they do have some leather ones and I think they're like $800 but these are 138 and they're very well crafted I like the stitching they're you know heavily stitched but they have the the panels I think you guys can see the panels and the design on it these pants will go great with that jacket I just showed you it's riding pants are pretty complimentary to just about um, 
any body size and type. I mean, you know your body, you know what you can get away with and what you can't. But these fit kind of like Spanx, so they suck everything in, which is what I really like. Another thing that you need for your fall and winter wardrobe. A nice, like, heavy knit sweater. Preferably, I'm, I'm going to show you two that are like the winter white, the off white, because those are just good to have. They go with a lot of stuff. You can wear them to church, you can wear them to work, you can wear them out, you can wear them to dinner. You can wear them pretty much anywhere. Um, but I'm going to show you two different ones, two different price points, as well as two different styles. Um, we'll go back to BCBG. This one, you cannot go wrong. It's like a cable knit sweater. It zips up all the way up to the collar and it zips down so you don't have to pull it over your head. You can just, you know, put it right on. But you can put this on top of jeans. Like, I can put it on top of what I have on right now. I love the detail. Peplums, it's just something about the way it makes you feel and look. It's just so girly and sexy. This one is from H&M. It's a totally different cut. I told you that. But you still get that same classic and sophisticated vibe, which I love. Now, this one is actually heavier than the one from BCBG. Um, it only buttons at the top, so you don't have to button it at all. It's just a little clasp, and you can just wear it over whatever you have on, whether it be a dress, um, jeans, t-shirt, whatever. You can dress an outfit up or dress it down. Another thing as far as animal prints are concerned that's going to be big this year is mixing prints and animal prints. Now, you have to be a little more strategic when it comes to mixing prints, but you kind of really have to think outside of the box in terms of just going for it and being confident about your decisions and just rocking whatever you decide to do. Now, these are actually from Target. Target. Y'all, Target. For this fall and winter season, they are bringing it. This particular blazer is from H&M, and I'm loving, loving the, the color scheme that they did with this. I actually pulled this for a shoot that I styled for, for WeTV. I don't think we ended up using this one, but I decided to keep it. I didn't take it um, back to the store and give it away. I wanted it for myself. I know you're probably not thinking it. I know you're probably not feeling it the way it looks right now, but I would do this with my hot pink um, Christian Dior heels. I know you're not feeling this right now because you can't see what this looks like on. So maybe I should try it on for you. I don't know if I have time for that, but maybe I'll, I'll Instagram a picture of it. Follow me on Instagram. It's Tony Duquatney, my whole name. That's my Instagram name. Um, and everything else is House of Hot. But so. Yeah, I'm actually, I might Instagram a picture of this, but these two prints together will definitely work. And I know you don't see the light right now, but trust me when I tell you these two prints work. So these have like the little tapered ankle. Such a hot trend right now. That's another one of our trends. Um, having a nice kind of flowy pan with a, a nice tapered elastic ankle with a pump super cute I like to pull mine up a little bit just below my calf just to kind of give it a little extra mm. this was in a shoot that I, I styled so okay this is a real fur jacket sorry Peter friends um I've had this okay this has been in my fur collection so when we styled this we did these blue pleather pants with the fur coat and this little sheer sequin top. Now I had a, a camisole underneath but the texture from the sequins and the beads and the, and the lace material of this cami mixed with the pleather leather-esque -esque pants and then the texture of the fur. I mean it was one smoking hot combination. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can, can see that but this definitely needs to be a hot look of the day because it's just uber fabulous. It's so rich with all the texture mixing and all that stuff. All right, so that's it for today's segment. Hope you guys had fun hanging out and um, got some really cool ideas on some stuff to keep your eye out for when you're out shopping around this uh, fall and winter season. I can't wait to see you guys again um, next week. We are on a roll. I'm gonna try to keep this thing going. 
um, as long as I can. In the meantime, leave me comments or suggestions or whatever, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Um, share it with your friends, whatever. Be on the lookout for all my stuff on TV I have to tell you about. Um, yeah, so anyway, God's been good, no doubt. And on that note, I'll see you guys later. Have a great night or day or whatever it is that you're watching this video. Just have a good one, okay? <laughs> Bye. I'm a dork.